Hello everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel, I'm Jolima and today we'll talk about the fragrance from the house of Al Khadamein and the fragrance is Junoon Rose. But today we'll do things a bit different. We have a very special guest, uh, Gintare, my girlfriend, she's back on the channel. It's been a while she, since she was featured on this channel and I'm very excited because in this video she will do her first review and she will do a review of Junoon Rose. Um, now, for uh, disclaimer purposes, uh, Al Khadamein sent me uh, Junoon Rose for review. But of course, all opinions are my own. Uh, Al Khadamein sent me this fragrance alongside. Um, it was Amber Wood Tobacco Edition. And I already did a review of that fragrance and I did a comparison between that one and to Tom Ford's Tobacco Pony. So I will leave the link here so you may check it out if you want to. Um, Junoon Rose, it's a flanker of Junoon. Uh, I never tried uh, Junoon, so I can't compare it with Junoon Rose or Junoon Rose with uh, the original Junoon. Junoon was released last year. Usually, Al Haramein fragrances remind me of other fragrances. Uh, yes, we can say that they are somewhat of a clone, um, but their quality actually really impressed me. Um, but well, this fragrance in specifically, I really don't recall to smell anything similar. I saw in Fragrantica that it's similar to Amouage uh, Blossom, Orange Blossom, Cherry Blossom. Well, I will leave the image here. Uh, so I have, I think there are six votes that say that uh, Al Haramein Jun Rose is similar to Amouage's. Um, but well, I don't know about that, I never tried it, uh, but definitely I don't recall to smell anything similar to Junoon Rose. Uh, in terms of notes, this fragrance is very floral and for me it's overly feminine, it's very sweet, very oriental, very powdery, I usually see fragrances as unisex, but in this case uh, it's not for me. It's an overly feminine fragrance, this is, this is a floral oriental fragrance, in the top uh, you have ylang, ylang bergamot and heliotrope, in the heart uh, you have rose of course, in the, in the, the base you have amber, you have tonky bean, so it's a sweet, you have also suede, uh, I'll leave the notes here so you can check it out as well. Uh, so as you can see it's a very heavy, it's a very heavy fragrance in florals and doesn't have any soft edges. But well guys, I already talked too much, let's leave it here to the main player, go with them. Hello guys, yeah I know this is crazy that you see me, Najwa, but today the video will be with me and my opinion about one fragrance that I received a long time ago from Joa. So, a long story short, uh, I asked Joa something a bit different that I usually would wear. Uh, and if you are watching Joa since day one, you already know that. I like bittersweet and my favorite notes are vanilla and caramel. So I love that one of those ingredients would be in the fragrance. And this time he said like, no, try this one. This is with the roses. I was like, what? Roses? Mm, maybe not. But he said like, this is really good. Try it. Like, maybe you will like it. And I was like, okay, what I have to lose. So I want to introduce what I received. So this is Al Halamein Yunun de Rose. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it not right. So this is how it looks. Let's see the inside of the box. Mm. <laughs> uh, first impression was like, okay, this is lovely. It looks lovely. Let's see what it is inside. And when I tried it, I was like, okay, this is interesting. I never ever tried something similar and I was like this is really really nice I was impressed and I really first impression I really like it and I thought okay let's see how it will be uh, let's try to wear every single day uh, for a couple of weeks let's see if I will get annoyed I will be boring or how it will be like you know with my skin and I was really impressed because I don't remember when was the last time that I received so many compliments uh, and especially for the females they were saying like oh my god this is so good like it's very woman uh, 
fresh but not too fresh it's strong but as well not too strong everything in the middle so and they were saying like this is something uh, kind of oriental i was like yeah, yeah this is and uh, the notes about this, this fragrance it's rose amber and something more like i don't remember i'm not that good as well it is so uh for me it was enough <laughs> already but i have to admit this is this is the smell that it really brings me like some kind of arabian nights and i was really enjoying to wear it so i think this fragrance is perfect for all the seeds and for uh winter for hot summer night perfect for the dates because for me it's very uh, sexy very feminine uh not too much sweet bittersweet that i love it and the most important i guess it's the quality because it stays long uh, on the skin on the clothes and the quality and the the price it's really perfect so if you want to surprise your girl and she likes something similar that i like i think they were will be enjoying wearing this fragrance so my opinion i really approve also i think that they could work a bit on the bottle because for me the smell and the bottle mm, not very matching but still i love it so yeah this is my honest opinion about this fragrance thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, and well wish you all the best stay stay safe and sound and keep your asses at home and see you maybe in the next video ciao great review guys i hope you enjoyed this review tell me in the comments down below what are your thoughts of junun rose from al Haramein? did you already try this fragrance tell me everything in the comments down below stay safe and see you in the next video Ciao.